Each year, about 185,000 people have an amputation in the U.S. Today, we're talking about the important role of rehabilitation after amputation and the expertise at St. Luke's Rehabilitation Institute. Thanks for joining us for this week's Health News You Can Use. I'm Lindsay Stish. Joining me today is Dr. Kimberly Paker, a physical medicine and rehabilitation specialist here at St. Luke's. Thank you so much for joining us at the Rehab Institute. Of course. So starting off, what are some of the most common causes or health conditions that can lead someone to need an amputation? So typically our amputees are suffering from diabetes or circulation issues before they have their amputation occasionally from a trauma like a car accident, but typically diabetes and circulation. Okay, uh, so how can rehab improve a person's quality of life after amputation? So after amputation, they're struggling with a lot. They come here to rehab and we have a multidisciplinary team to help them get back to doing everything they were doing before, hopefully as well as they were doing it before. We focus a lot on helping them get in and out of bed, get dressed, do all the daily things that they were doing before. What does St. Luke's Rehabilitation offer for these patients? So we offer specialized therapy. They, the therapists here are great. They are used to working with people with amputations and so they really know how to approach someone who's dealing with that. We also have a rehab psychologist that can help them with that emotional hurdle. And then we have some specialized equipment that they can use to help them on their journey. Great. Now, I understand that you also run a monthly amputee clinic. Can you tell me how that's unique to the area and what you do with that clinic? Yeah, so there aren't very many amputee clinics in the area. I think St. Luke's has a couple of the only ones. Um, in that clinic, there's myself and then a prosthetist who is the person who makes the legs. Um, we see the patients after they've had their amputation and we assess them for the best fit, the right kind of prosthesis, make sure that we get that for them timely and then make sure that they're progressing with it after they receive it. Okay. And how long do you follow these patients through your amputee clinic? Typically lifelong. They don't usually graduate from amputee clinic. Their leg changes over time. And so they may need a new prosthesis in three to five years. Okay. And what else are you looking for when they're coming back for those regular checks? Right. Also looking at their other foot or any other limbs that they still have to make sure that they're not experiencing any wounds or problems that could lead to a second amputation. Now let's talk about some of the specialized care here and the equipment that we have at the Rehab Institute. Uh, tell me about some of the things that therapists really focus on with these patients. Yeah, so we really want people to be able to balance whether they're sitting or standing when people first have their amputation. It's a little unbalancing to only have one leg. So this machine back here, we can use that either seated or standing. Um, the other thing that we'll often use when they do receive their prosthesis is the safe gate. It's a suspended gate harness. And so it takes that responsibility away from the therapist to hold the patient up and work on their quality of walking. We can really focus on the quality of walking. What's a common misconception that people might have about life after amputation? They often think that they are not gonna be able to do what they were doing before, but a lot of our patients get back to leading a very good quality of life. That's fantastic. Uh, and do people usually get their prosthesis right away? That takes about six weeks. We want okay. that residual limb completely healed and the surgeons typically want me to wait about six weeks before we try and fit someone with a prosthesis. So that's why it's so important to work on balance and all of those things yep. that you mentioned before. Because you have to go home and you have to go to the bathroom and you have to get dressed and might not always have someone there to make sure you don't fall over. Was well, there anything else that you'd like to add today? Yeah, I think the main thing to focus on is if you do have diabetes or circulation issues, we really want you to watch your feet and make sure that you're not having any issues and at risk for an amputation. If you do have to have an amputation, then of course we're here for you. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. To learn more, you can visit stlukescasey.org slash rehab institute. You can also stay up to date with all the latest news and stories from St. Luke's at stlukescasey.org slash news. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Health News You Can Use.